Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm really excited for today's video because you can see that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's try right. that again. All Take right. two. Mm -hmm. I have the long awaited for performance pro cow for the Bronco. We're going to install it, test it out today. So stay tuned. Buckle up, up buttercup. I do not like to drive fast. I don't like a lot of power, says nobody ever. I'm actually really excited to have some power on the Bronco and I have the Ford Performance Pro Cal right here. But since performance is not my expertise, I thought I would have a guest kind of help me out, maybe not install this, but with some of the facts and stats, I thought it would be helpful to bring a professional in. And I say professional lightly because it's the one and only Jim Metusky. Hey, you guys, how are you? Super happy to be here. Yeah. Uh, I think we're going to be throwing this Ford ProCal on today, and, and I don't think it's going to be a very difficult install, but because we are dealing with performance of the vehicle, and this thing is not only a calibrator, but it also allows us to monitor some gauging and some other things with the vehicle. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and kind of monitor these things while we're driving the car just to make sure thing, everything is safe, everybody's happy. And I'm and, not blowing anything And out. nothing's going to happen that's really, you know, yeah. catastrophic. Because, so. I mean, if you remember, this is my daily driver. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is my car. Um, so I just want to make sure everything's good to go. Today we are going to show the differences between stock and running this tune. We're going to use a thing called a draggy and that's going to give us all of our information. If you guys want one of these, it's not something you need for this. I'll go ahead and put um, the Amazon link to that up above in the cards and also in the description. But with that said, I think we're ready to go. Man, let's get to rocking. Yeah. Woo! So we have this draggy. This is going to give us some stats um, so we can compare before and after. This pairs with a smartphone. So that's what we're working on right now. And we're going to go in a safe area and just do a couple hits to get this information that we need. Yeah, let's get some baseline numbers, see what this thing's capable of doing stock. And then... Uh, Are you ready for this? I'm not sure. Are you scared? A little bit. A little bit? A little bit. Then get Sorry. out! Why are you holding on to the grab handle already? Uh, you know, well, you are a woman driver, so, like, anything's possible. Uh, am I wrong? Should I hit you? <laughs> please don't do that. Oh, my god! That doesn't sound exciting Now at all. I think I might drive a little erratic. Oh, my God, please don't. Ah! <laughs> I'm running 93 octane gas, premium gas. Do not run any sort of tune, power module, anything like that without having the proper gas. Um, just ask Jim. I think he has a lot of experience on working on cars. That, oh, yeah. I mean, what, what's the result of something like that? Uh, kaboom. <laughs> yeah, kaboom! 93 or better. I mean, if you're really serious about performance in any way, shape, or form, I mean, 93 is the absolute minimum you should be running, and then it kind of goes up from there depending on what kind of racing we're going to be doing. But for just some baseline numbers in the sport mode, I mean, I think 93 is where we're where the good spot's at. And speaking of sport mode, I am in the GOAT mode of sport. So um, that's what I'm gonna do this baseline with, and I'm also gonna keep it in sport mode after doing the ProCal here. Got the draggy all set up, so I think uh, we're pretty much ready. Okay. Here we all go. All right, are you ready? Ah, an excuse to go fast! Pedal to the metal. in the eighth with a 289 60 foot okay. before we get this installed I just wanted to show you kind of like a brief unboxing comes in a good box all this information here but here's the actual unit it's not super big and then if you just lift this up you got all the harnesses and everything that you need to get going even a little thing to hook it up and suction cup to your windshield so let's go get started now, before getting started, you need to make sure you do a couple things. The first thing is you're going to need to get to a PC and register this. This is going to come with instructions with a piece of paper like this. I don't want to open it up because it obviously has my information on here, but it's going to tell you to go to the Ford Performance website, plug in a voucher number, and you're going to need to get this, I guess what you call calibrated to your Bronco. Then you're going to come back to the Bronco, plug it in, download the stock file. 
you're going to go back to your PC, plug it in, and then it's going to prompt you to download the performance pack or whatever calibration, and it's going to load it back onto this calibration. And then you're going to come back to the Bronco again and uh, plug it in. So from a consumer standpoint, for me, um, it's a little aggravating because I would think, hey, I bought this for the 2.3 liter Bronco. Why not just have you know, the, the power calibrations on there already. They're not on there. Like you can have download the stock, but you're not getting the performance calibrations at all until you do all that. So just make sure you follow the steps because if you mess up those steps, you can mess up your Bronco. And this little paper will go through all the instructions that I just kind of said in a more detailed fashion, but it's important that you follow those steps um, for the ProCal because you don't want to mess up the Bronco. But now that we got all of that done, you know, I have it hooked up. I got it on into the OBD2 port. We're ready to go. We already saved the stock um, file. So we're going to go to programming. We have the ignition on just an accessory mode. You don't need the motor actually on. So I'm gonna go ahead and click continue and performance cows. And here we go, we got the performance cow. So I'm gonna click on that. I wanna click continue. And as you can see, it's doing all kinds of funky stuff, um, but that's pretty typical when you're you know, changing things. Woo, man, that scares me. <laughs> we got all the things flipping up right now. He'll start assist. This is scary for me, but I have put my faith in Ford Performance that they know what they're doing when they're riding this ECU. Do you want a helmet? I'm gonna need it, right? <laughs> okay, we have all of our data logging on as well as our gauging. I think we're pretty ready to go. Ready? Mm-hmm. Let's do it. Oh, oh, oh. Whoa! Okay. Wow! That, you can this feels feel good. the difference. This good. Wow. Okay, we did a 266 60 foot and a 1036 8th mile. I mean, that is a substantial gain uh, from the draggy. So I'm, I'm feeling pretty good about it. The initial, like, pick-me-up is a huge difference. Oh, yeah. The, the initial hit is outstandingly better. Like, it's unbelievable, undeniable. I'm, uh, impressed. I'm impressed with that. I would say the least I'm impressed with that. We're doing that again. Okay. That seems <laughs> I need to fun. soak it up a little <laughs> bit more. Wow. Okay, this may start, like, a whole new performance thing for me with the Bronco. Oh, yeah. Like, I, I mean, feel like we need to do some more stuff. Like, I've got the exhaust and everything, but I think... More power! <laughs> Man, right there! Wow! Whoa! Man, the sound! Oh yeah. I mean, this thing's pushing almost 24 pounds. That was pretty good. I mean, coming up from probably about 17 pounds from stock, I mean, there is a significant difference in boost pressure. Yeah. And you know, it feels like they really kind of kicked the timing up a little bit in that low end, and it feels great. First impressions. Wow. Pretty good. I will be honest with you, that is impressive. Uh, I mean, just for a flash tune, uh, practically stage one, no downpipe, no intake, like just factory everything minus i mean you do have a like a cat back or basically a rear section exhaust which really doesn't give you any performance it's just sound i mean that was pretty decent how did you feel about it i loved it okay it was that initial like when you press on the gas i mean the hood not the hood but the bronco like picks up it didn't do that before and you're probably asking why. Well, because I always gun it. And there is a substantial difference. I'm actually really shocked by the amount of power I feel and also the sound difference in the exhaust because I actually think my exhaust sounds better now than it did before. It is louder. And I guess that has to do, you know, with the flash and the air and all mm -hmm. that, but it, it sounds amazing. It does. I mean, it sounds pretty good. Uh, well, just kind of right off the bat and kind of comparing the numbers, I mean, from the base tune, 
running about 17 to 17 and a half pounds of boost. We peaked almost 24 pounds uh, on the same eighth mile run with the new calibration on there. So that felt pretty good. And then based off of the numbers, let's just compare that because you had said that, I mean, definitely that first 60 foot hit feels fantastic. So we went from doing um, a 289 60 foot all the way down to a 266. 60 foot so we lost i mean three tenths there and then in the eighth mile we went from 1097 which is basically almost an 11 second eighth mile pass to a 1036 so i mean we lost almost seven tenths almost eighth a full mile. second i mean almost. you're getting, getting pretty, pretty close. close and i'll tell you what you can definitely feel it i'm impressed with what you have with the car especially what do you want you want 35s 37s uh, yeah this is on 35s four inch lift i mean it's an off-road vehicle but that little bit of performance it makes a huge difference especially for the 2.3 everyone's like oh the 2.3 has no power and it's been fine but now it's like oh dang this thing has plenty of power right now as far as i'm concerned it's I awesome mean and i think it'd be great to dyno test it obviously to get some more solid numbers you know reflash it have it stock and all that so maybe at some point i can find somebody to do that for me but in the meantime i think these are pretty good stats and just take my word for it and jim's word for it you can feel the difference. I'm impressed. Whatever that impressed. difference is, mm -hmm. it's good. <laughs> oh yeah, I would say that this is worth the money. I mean, you can really do a lot of data logging with this kind of stuff. So if you want to see any of these numbers, not necessarily your times, but if you're looking to data log anything from like boost pressure to coolant temperatures to ignition timing and things like that, just to make sure that the tune is safe for the car if you want like a uh, your tuner if you're uh yourself good with any of these numbers i mean you can data log this stuff put it into a chart and you can really see what the car is doing um but from what i see on here everything looks good everything looks very safe and i'll tell you what i mean i love it yes i will say this has been a really fun video it was a blast i would agree it gave mm -hmm. me a little bit of an adrenaline rush and i'm just so excited about that extra power I love it. I love the sound of the exhaust. I love the changes. Feel free to leave a super thanks, become a patron member or a YouTube channel member. Until next time, buckle, buckle up, buttercup. buttercup.